everyone welcome back to another star wars galaxy of heroes video with fat phil and today i'm gonna kind of do like a part two of the best mod farming guide i'll put a link into the description down below of the part one so part one just to summarize it real quick focuses on when you should move from focusing on just obtaining mods to farming specific sets to then finally focusing on just slicing materials um this guide is going to be just focusing on slicing mods i'm going to give you guys some rough guidelines of the order that I would slice mods in as a new player. I'm gonna give you advice on the mods that I focus priority on. And then some unique examples just to kind of help you guys along and give you something to build from in your own roster. Now this is by no means saying that there aren't other ways to do it. This is just one player's opinion who, you know, with the, I would say with the experience I have in the GP that it maybe holds a little bit of value and hopefully you guys find some good tips in here. Before I go any further, if you haven't already, Please subscribe to my channel. We have been growing so fast. I really appreciate all the support. And then like this video, leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. So I'm actually going to go in first and talk about characters in their roles that you want to be focusing on slicing first. So I have two categories here, crew with use, and I'll actually put them first, and then starting lineup crew. So what does this mean? Crew with use... These are just five, there's more examples, but these are five characters who you're not only going to use them as a pilot, but that they have a lot of use outside of fleets, right? All of these characters, I've covered them in multiple, you know, some of my other guides here. They're all fantastic characters outside of fleets. So by slicing their mods, you're not only making them as better in fleets, but you're also making them better inside of like squad arena, or not really squad arena, I guess, because it doesn't matter anymore, but grand arena, territory battles, territory wars, etc. Right below them is starting lineup crew. So this is something that I would say as you progress farther in the game, you start focusing on this. Characters like Best Armor Mando, not quite as useful as, you know, the characters in the first row. Same thing with First Order Officer and Cad Bane, where their mods are not quite as important as the characters in that first row. However, the concept here is that these are starting lineups, right, that... They all provide very important uses for their particular fleets. So having them with six dot mods just makes them that much better, right? The next category here, great tunes. Obviously, Wampa the Goat, he needs six dot mods. Just do it. Um, but then you've got characters like Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, right? Your GLs, right? And these are just, again, kind of placeholders to other characters. But as examples here, like your Galactic Legend level characters, Jedi Knight Luke, who's a, you know... A step above basically you know be between that galactic legend tier and like legendary tier then you've got like your legendary characters darth revan commander luke there are plenty more characters in here but this is just a baseline guide to show you examples of characters that you want to be focusing on uh six dot mods for and then finally like key squad members now what do i mean by key squad members so these are characters like star killer I can't put him in this great tune category only because of how Omicron intensive he is, but I do have him down here that once you do, like you're going to use him in the Omicron, right? He's a key member of that squad. Let's get him 60 mods. Um, Dark Trooper, right? Like he's not a, like I can't put him in this great tune category because he's not needed for anything, right? He's not a wreck. He doesn't get us like, he's just a fantastic squad character. So you get him. All right, let's slice his mods up. Sith Trooper, very similar situation there where, you know, he plays a very important role in the squad. So when you have the squad, it's important to six dot mod him, but I wouldn't do it before that. Same thing with like Mara Jade and Echo, where these are all characters who have a unique function, who really, really do well inside of a particular squad. So when you get them, they're key members that we want to be upgrading them, but I wouldn't do them before you've got characters in the Great Tune or our fleets taken care of. Now, this is baseline, guys. This is not a you have to do this in this order. This is just a, you know, interpretation that, like, if you're going to go and get your, say, your first order fleet, right? Okay, throw some six dot mods on them. You're going to probably six dot mod your Sith Trooper before you six dot mod, like, Jedi Knight Luke because of the order that you ended up farming them in, right? This is saying that if you need six dot mods on Jedi Knight Luke and you need them on Sith Trooper at the exact same time, focus on Jedi Knight Luke. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my roster here, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to take two mods up from 
a five dot to a six dot. We're gonna put some slicing materials on and then I'm gonna do a calibration for you guys. Just give you some examples of what goes through my mind when I am slicing up mods. So the first thing that we wanna look for when we're doing a five dot to six dot mod is bang for our buck, right? So I'm gonna select a character here. Um, I'm actually gonna go to Admiral Radis. So he's got an offense square up here. So just right here, you get you go from 5.8 offense to eight and a half. Defense jumps from 11 to 20. Protection only goes up a half percent, right? Keep that in mind. Protection only jumps a half percent. Offense goes from, again, same thing here. Health goes from 5.88 to 16. And then speed, where is it at? Here, speed. Find somebody who actually put speed on. There we go. Speed goes from 30 to 32. Now, these are just, again, examples here. Like, I could click on this, and if I select my piet here crit damage goes from like 36 to 42 there's more but i just wanted to show you guys the rough you know where you're getting the most bang for your buck if you remember there protection you're only getting a half percent difference whereas health you're almost tripling the amount of health percent you're getting from that mod so i personally like to slice offense mods so like squares i like to slice health mods Health, offense are huge mods that I really like to slice. Protection, I'm only doing in situations where it's a crew member or it's a really fast mod that I want to try and get better, right? Um, and we're taking advantage of like a secondary there. So what I'm going to do, go into my manage mods and I'm going to filter for, I'm going to do a health percent with a health, a health, health percent mod, speed secondary. So we'll do that. And I'm actually going to come down, let me filter out, just mark five mods. And we're going to sort here by speed. All right, so you guys will see up here, like in this top row, so we've got anywhere from 13 to 11 speed. Um, and even down in the bottom row, right, we go to 10 speed here on this mod for Bastila. So this Bastila mod, I actually do like this mod. Um, we've got percent defense, percent offense, flat health. And then similar thing up here with R2-D2, where we've got potency percent, Offense percent and flat health. Um, the Barris mod here and the one on Night Sister, I think that's uh, Acolyte. They're not bad mods. They don't, you know, none of their secondaries are thrilling me necessarily. Um, they're mods that if I really need to, right, and I slice them up, it's not the worst thing in the world. But I personally am at the point in my, you know, uh, path where secondary stats do mean something to me, right? So I think we're going to pick this mod from R2-D2. So that's going to be the first mod we'll slice today. So I'm going to come down to R2. So we're going to go in, and I'm going to take this to 6E. The reason I'm doing this mod in particular, for those of you who've been following Chan a little bit, I'm going to be getting Malgus at the end of the Conquest rewards here, and he needs a lot of health. So I'm trying to focus on slicing health mods. So this is the first step in that process. So we're going to go ahead, slice this up. So you'll see here, offense is now at 2.4%. Flat health jumped a little bit. You get one speed for that. And then we've got some additional potency percent. So I am going to do one slice here. I've got three of these, so I'll do one on this mod. All right, just see if we can get speed. And we got potency percent. So not the worst thing in the world. Not ideal, though. I would have liked the speed. So I'm going to stop there, right? Um, it's a mod that I'll maybe come back to, but you know I needed to get it to six dot. So now the next thing I want to look at is health percent mods because I need one of these for Malgus. So we're going to look around here and see if I have anything. I don't have a ton of health percent mods. This is definitely an area that I am lacking in. And I really don't see any that I like. Now let's come here and if I just unfilter and just go to six dot and I filter up here for health percent. So now I've got a little bit more to choose from. Um, this actually looks like a pretty good mod for Darth Malgus here. So I might slice this one up, a, you know, a step higher. We'll see. Um, again, you know, just building these mods. Uh, I'll have to find another mod to throw on Kylo Ren on mass there. But overall, you know, maybe I'll actually throw this one, this one. So this is a, we'll stop here at this fives mod. So this mod here, I have got low speed. 
but I've got a ton of offense, a ton of tenacity, and a ton of crit chance. So I'm actually going to try and calibrate this mod and see if I can get additional speed rolls. Um, I Maybe an offense roll, right? We're going to see what we can get here. So I'm going to calibrate this. So actually, you know what? No, I had a better mod of mine for you guys for calibrations. So calibrations, um, we're going to try this one here. So with a calibration, we're saying that I have a stat like this flat protection that I don't like. I don't like this flat protection. I want to give it to either offense or speed here. So I'm going to calibrate this mod, right? You get these materials for free when you're farming mods now. So they're a good thing to use to just try and get a better mod. So we're going to switch this over. And, oh, we got speed. Let's go. Holy crap. So we went from, so we go up to 21 speed, right, from 17. Not the biggest jump, but we took away flat protection. We got speed. We're going to keep that all day long. Let's go. That was a great calibration. Um, anytime you get speed is a good day. So now we need one more six dot mod. Um, I think I'm going to look for a, another health mod. So let's go back in here. And again, we're doing health because health is where I get the most bang for my buck. So our maybe we'll just do this. We're going to filter on just these guys here. Why is this not? Mark five health any primary stat and we're going to do speed secondary why is this not what is going on filter why is this not showing me all of the mods that this is so weird all right so we're just going to back out one. I don't know why it's not showing me the mods that I want, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to find a mod set here that I want to upgrade. Reset to default filter. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to filter on just Mark V mods and we're going to filter by speed. And so here we go. And actually we're going to filter on just secondary speeds. Why is this not... This is so good. This whole new thing is so confusing to me. I don't want. There we go. And then we're going to sort by speed. I don't know. This whole new filter thing, guys, is throwing me for a complete loop. So here's a great example. I was going to show you guys this. Um, so this is a protection mod on Darth Malak. Now, I would get a half percent here. It's a really fast mod. But as you guys see, like a bunch of the mods that are up here are ones that I just don't feel that I should be changing right now because I'm not going to get enough bang for my buck out of them. Um, let's see, where's a nice one that will give me something that I really need right now? Um, BB-8 protection. Um, actually, do we have a this one on BB-8? We're going to do this mod here. Uh, do I want to do that? Do I want to? protection we're just looking through guys this is one of the big things right the the longer this takes the more that you're probably doing it right where you're trying to make sure that at the end of the day you're choosing the best mods possible um i think i might actually look for a ooh, this one on old ben with the health percent here i think i might do that mod it might be a nice mod for darth malgus so again, we're just trying to build a specific set here. So we'll scroll down to old Ben. And we're going to, yeah, we're going to try this mod. So we're going to slice this up. So again, we got our stat increases there. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Okay, we got health percent. That's not terrible. And then we don't have enough calibration materials for the next tier. So we're going to have to wait to do any further enhancing there. Now... The last thing I can do here is I can look through mods and see, you know, this one, not really enough secondaries on there that I would like. Um, let's see if anybody else has a, what's this one on Wampa? Yeah, it's not really the greatest mod. Um, let's see what this Bosk mod is. 20 health percent. Ooh. 
Now, again, you guys will see that some of these mods, the reason I ended up taking them as high as I did is because I either needed them for a character or they rolled enough speed that it was worth it to me to get them. Like this one on General Grievous. Uh, yeah, there's just, there's not a ton of mods. And this is kind of me showing you guys that there are some mods that I have, you know, upgraded just because they had enough speed or I needed the stat boost. Like on this one on Count Dooku, we got 11 speed here, offense, potency, percent, flat health. I think I had that on a character who was a pilot at one point and I got a better mod. Um, Mace Windu here, tenacity. Ooh, that's actually, we're going to try this mod. I like this. Let's get, let's give you, and whoa, there we go, five speed. All right, so this is a great, you know, this is probably a terrible video for you guys that you saw me rolling some speed here. Um, but yeah, so there's a great mod. I could probably put that on somebody like a Darth Malgus or I could put it on someone else. You know, again, this whole process is just about finding the mods that you need to slice at that current time or for that current character. Um, but let me know how you guys do, right? Do you get lucky like I did in this video or are you like I am 99% of the time where I am like struggling to get speed secondaries? Uh, this was a very successful day. Sorry if the video kind of you know, took some tangents when I was trying to filter and stuff. I don't want to edit it. I want to save it because I think it's important for you guys to see the process that I am really looking through all of my mods to figure out where I can get bang for my buck, where I'm paying attention to secondaries, paying attention to the character I have in mind for that mod and moving forward. Um, otherwise, guys, if you're still watching right now, go ahead, comment down below. Um, let's see, you know what? Go ahead, comment. We're going to do our usual. Wampa is the goat. So if you're still watching right now, Wampa is the goat in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.